Where is my 401k? What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at what happens to your 401k if you were to move on from your previous employer. Assume that you decide to either stay home or you decide to go get a new job. If you had 401k, what happens to that 401k? So we're going to examine three options um, about what happens to that 401k and then we're going to go back and look at the advantages and disadvantages of all those options that we'll talk about. Let's get into it. So the first option, if you were to quit your job or you move on to get another job, is that you can just leave your 401k with your previous em uh, employer 401k plan and just move on and just let it be there and you can get it whenever you, you decide to cash it. Um, option two is that you can either roll that uh, 401k plan into your current employer, assuming that you uh, get a new job that has uh, 401k. So you can just roll that into that employer's plan and just keep it going. Option three is that you can actually roll that money into uh, an IRA account. So it could be a traditional IRA or it could be a Roth IRA. So those are the options that you have. So let's go back now and examine what um, situation or what advantages or disadvantages you have um, when you make each of the decisions. So the first one is that you can just leave it with your uh, previous employer. The situation for that is most people that uh, just leave that money sitting with their previous employer is that they don't know what to do with the money. Usually it's just a lack of knowledge. Um, then I've seen people that would leave it there because they understand the importance of living in there. So let me break that down. So if you don't know what to do with your 401k, most people just, it, it's there, they tell them, hey, your money is here, you still have your 401k there, and they're happy. Um, they don't really look at the details. So if I'm leaving my 401k with my previous employer, I want you to understand certain things. Number one is, does that uh, 401k perform at the level that you want? Is it invested in the funds that you want? Is it meeting your retirement goals? Because if you don't understand the details, you leaving that money there could be really, really detrimental. You could be losing a ton of money. And then you look at the fees. How much are they charging to maintain that 401k for you? So consider all those things before you decide to leave your 401k in. So this will be a good example. If you have your 401k plan, which your previous employer, they have really high fees and they invested in really, really crappy funds, I would say take that money out if you don't have a, a current employer to roll that money into and then roll it into an IRA account. So you could do a traditional IRA, which means you roll it without paying taxes or you do a, a rough IRA, which means that they'll charge taxes. You can put that money in there and then you can invest it. What are the disadvantages of that option? Number one is that you have to be savvy enough to do your research um, to decide what kind of funds you want to invest that money into. And, and I'm going to tell you this, um, in today's uh, investing space, there are so many options as far as where, how you can invest that money. And a lot of them are using AI that would guide you where you just have to answer um, a few questions and it would give you options of, of stocks you can invest into. So you can go to Vanguard.com and open an, uh, a traditional IRA account or a Roth IRA account and move that money into it. Or M1 Finance, they have all those options for you that you can actually roll that money into. So. If you decide that you wanted to you know, leave that money with your employer, that's what I want you to think. Think about the fees and think about the, the investment and then think about the returns. Option number two is that you decide you want to move that money from your previous employer 401k plan into your current em employer 401k plan. And all that you have to do is um, go to your current employer, they'll give you a form, you fill it out, uh, submit the form and then they will just transfer the money into that account and you don't have to do anything You don't have to touch the cash. You don't see it. You don't do anything. It just comes into the account and um, It would be invested in the funds that your current employer uh, 401k account is being invested in so that's what you're gonna get yourself into but what should you do? I want you again before you make that move consider just three things we, we talked about earlier What are the fees? What are the funds that are invested in? 
and, and at the same time, what are the rate of returns uh, for those funds? So I want you to consider that before you roll your money over because um, you can rolling it over into your current employer plan is very simple as far as making your life easy because you don't have to log in into several different porters to actually check what your 401k is doing. You have it in one place, but uh, doing that could be detrimental to you. You could be rolling your money from a, a really good uh, a 401k plan, well invested into a crappy 401k plan that's not well invested with high fees. So this is something that you wanna consider. And last but not the least um, is you taking that decision, like I spoke earlier, of actually moving that money from your your previous employer's 401k plan and rolling that money into an IRA account. So if you are savvy enough, setting up an IRA is it's not rocket science. I, anybody can do it. Even if you can't, you just get on the phone, go to vanguard.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Just call them on the phone, tell them that you have a 401k plan, you want to roll it over and they'll help you with the process. Somebody will be with you on the phone through the process or if you can just go online and do it, it's that simple. You roll that money during the rolling process, they'll ask you if you want to do um, the traditional or you want to do a rough. So you choose which one works better for you. So if you anticipate that, you know, taxes are gonna go down in the future when you retire and then you can do a traditional so you pay less taxes. But if you anticipate that taxes are gonna go up, uh, when you retire and then you could say, hey, you know what, I'm going to do it rough right now. I'm going to pay my taxes right now. And, and then you roll that money over um, and then do your research as to what kind of funds. And if you are, you know, just somebody that's getting into the space of investing and you're not really confident about it, uh, there are certain um, index funds that you can never go wrong with. Some index funds and ETFs that you can never go wrong with. The first index fund that I know for sure, and I'm gonna talk about this in a separate video uh, where I'm gonna show you guys my portfolio uh, for retirement, what I have in there. So the first one is VTSA. So it tracks the market for you. So anything that the market does, it kind of mimics the market. So you don't really have to do any sort of research. Just put your money in there and that's it and set your dividend uh, return to reinvest. And why you wanna do that is because that constant uh, reinvesting of your dividends, as dividends come in, reinvest it, it, it growing that account at a, at a faster rate than if you were not investing your dividends. So that's something to consider. So those are the three key things that you would wanna consider or three key options for you to do with your 401k if you were to quit your job. Again, let me recap here. The first one is that you can just leave your 401k with your previous employer. Second one is that you can take your 401k with you to your new employer. And last but not the least, you can roll that 401k into uh, an IRA account and decide if you wanna do a traditional, you wanna do a Roth IRA account. And that's, uh, that's how you can actually manage your money. So those are the options. So question of the day, what do you think is the best option to do with your 401k? Let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, go ahead and give that thumbs up. If you find it useful, share with one friend. If you can relate to what we're talking about here, let me know in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. And as always, stay motivated.